Hey there, boys and girls, and welcome to episode 68 of Sonic Boom TV. Uh, today, I'm just going to do a new record opening. Um, the I uh, went to uh, Walmart again. I've been to Walmart like five times in the last three days or something. Um, and uh, finally decided that I'm going to get my shelves. Two, I'm going to get two, sh two eight cube record shelf things the they're the better homes and garden ones from walmart they were cheaper to order them online uh uh but i had to pay shipping so maybe not i don't know they might come out about the same but anyway they're gonna bring them to me so you know beats me having to carry them up the stairs uh so anyway um today i went over there one last time to 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 just look at them to make sure I, is what i wanted and then uh, I went to the record section, and I picked up White Snake's Greatest Hits, revisited, remixed, remastered, and 2022. I guess that's what it. Yeah, 2022 in Roman numbers. Uh, the reason I wanted this. Uh, well, let's read the hype sticker. Hype sticker says two LP featuring Here I Go Again, Still the Night, Is This Love, 16 tracks, newly remixed, limited edition red vinyl. Um, the reason I wanted to get this is because uh, I don't have a lot of White Snake, and um, this actually only covers uh, what I already own. Really, um, this I, the three. Well, previously I had the live album uh, "Live in the Heart of the City," I believe it is. Let me check real quick. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Live in the Heart of the City on cassette. I had the White Snake, the 1987 self-titled album on cassette, and I had the uh, original vinyl of that, uh, vinyl record. And uh, then Slip of the Tongue I have on a cassette and a CD. So I didn't have a lot of White Snake uh, going for me. And I also have MP3s of the Forevermore album that I got from the library. So... I wanted this just to have a little bit of uh, more stuff that I didn't have. And it includes a couple songs from uh, Slip of the Tongue. And it has uh, for one song from Forevermore, which is Forevermore. And then uh, there's one song that I think was a B-side of something. But the real reason I wanted to get it is because he's... David Coverdale, the only original member of White Snake, that and the only one that's been in the band forever, he went back and I don't I don't know if they took uh, old recordings or new recordings of uh, guitarist Adrian Vandenberg on a couple songs, and he they did more guitar parts, and then there's they did go back and take some stuff from John Sykes. And I don't know if they were like live recordings or studio recordings that they've mixed in with this. I'm not sure how it works. But I wanted to hear how that sounds. And then they have the guy that's been playing keyboards for them. Or Hammond organ or something that's played on some of the newer stuff that I don't have. Uh, and they've got him on, the, on a couple songs. Um, I think most of the songs. And it's supposed to be an updated version so it doesn't sound so 80s. So I just want to see what they did with it. And I've kind of seen this album for a while um probably like two or three months at walmart and it's just been there nobody's picked it up nobody unless they've replaced it but i feel like this is one of those ones that they're only gonna have one of and then they're never gonna get it anymore uh but anyway um so i kept going in and kept going in and seeing it seeing it and i finally just said you know what i'm gonna get it um this time and so i picked it up it's it's got 16 songs we'll go over that uh still the night here i go again is this love? Give me all your love. Uh, love ain't no stranger. I think that's the B side one. Uh, slide it in. Slow and easy. Guilty of love. Fool for your loving. Judgment day. The deeper the love. Now you're gone. Sweet lady luck. Uh, you're gonna break my heart again. Crying in the rain and forevermore. Um, and I've heard the slip of the tongue album a long time ago, um, but the mostly I was the regular you know White Snake. 1987 and Slip of the Tongue era, uh, you know, that was my era of White Snake, and then I kind of, they kind of went away, and I kind of went away from them, 
And they've been doing some new stuff recently, and the only one I listened to was Forevermore, and I liked it. It was it was pretty good. Um, Forevermore, that song is great. There's a cool video for it, too. So anyway, we're going to open this up uh, and check it out. Nice and smooth opening there for the uh, guitar pick. Okay. So we'll save this. Little thing. So we've got the front cover. It's embossed. It's cool. This is all embossed. All this. All the words all embossed. So it's really cool. Uh, the back cover's kind of cool too because it shows the, the covers of all the singles um, as well as their little logo. Um, so that's cool. Get a little closer look at that. Um, that's actually this, the cover for uh, Slip of the Tongue. And that's actually the cover for the 1987 album. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there's 12, but there's 16. So I'm not sure how they, they worked that out. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I just work here. Then we open it up. Oh, this is cool. Gatefold is all lyrics. Uh, I think it's got lyrics to every song. Looks like it. So that's cool, because um, uh, a lot of uh, times they don't they don't give you the lyrics on the uh, greatest hit stuff. Um, guess you're supposed to know them already. Okay, there seems to be nothing special on the. Whoops, lost it, guys. I lost it. There's nothing special on the insides. I don't think. Oh, wait, we do have something. We got something. Oh, we got another lyric sheet. <laughs> A double-sided lyric sheet. So that's, now that's weird. Because I've never seen duplicate lyrics on an album before. Uh, that's got to be a first. Um, so now I kind of wish that either this or this would have been photos um, that would have been great but I guess they've had so many band member changes that it it would be hard to do a, a legit uh, photo unless you just did David Coverdale uh, but anyway um, so that's weird but let's look at the records um, we've got two records set uh, and they both they don't have the same label so we'll look at both of them uh, got this Nice red vinyl. Uh, we've got we got uh, song lyric. I mean song titles on one side. White Snake logo on the other side. Uh, that of course is not embossed. <laughs> and then the other one, other disc. We've got these black uh, inner sleeves, um, and they are uh, poly lined, so that's cool. Um, and then we've got White Snake uh, album logo, and uh, I mean their their band logo and the uh, the title of the album, Greatest Hits stuff, and then track listing on that side too. Uh, this one is not very uh, straight as far as the uh, label goes. Uh, the holes all right, uh, but it, it's it's off centered, so that's interesting. Um, so I don't really know anything about how these are going to sound, um, you know, as far as the songs, but I'm definitely interested in it, uh, and I can't go, you know, you can't go wrong with that era of, of Whitesnake. If you were into the whole, you know, glam metal kind of thing, hair metal, whatever you want to call it, uh, big, big songs of the 80s, you know, rock songs, whatever, uh, this is going to be perfect for that. Uh, they, um, they, they had some great songs now on, um on uh that 1987 album uh there was probably i don't know six or seven songs that either were hits or could have been hits uh the uh one of my favorite songs of that time was still the night um is that it? and that's the first song on here uh that that is a awesome awesome song so i want to hear what they do with that uh but uh 
This was like 33 bucks at Walmart. Um, the Discogs has it for 34, so it's probably that was a you know average price. Um, I don't I don't think this was a Walmart exclusive because it doesn't say it anywhere. Um, but uh, it is supposed to be a limited edition, but you know how that is. Uh, everything's a limited edition um, if they want to call it that. Uh, so anyway, White Snake Greatest Hits uh, revisited, remixed, remastered. 2022 um i don't see any kind of band credits like it doesn't show who played on what i don't think oh you know what this on the inside is not lyrics this is uh this is little statements about each song so that's cool it tells you written by whoever uh and then it's got little questions and things like that so that's okay that makes sense then uh so maybe the lyric sheet might have who the players were or not. So no, nope. 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 Oh yes they do. At the end of the songs. It does. So I I, I wonder if that updates like who played the newer versions. Hmm. I don't know, but um, I'm going to check this out um, as soon as I get off of this video. Um, I kind of rambled a little bit more than I wanted to, but, you know, what are you going to do? This is free entertainment, right? Uh, so, anyway, um, I have my shelves coming. They should be here by Thursday. Uh, that's what they said, so I, I would expect Friday um, that they'll come. I'm trying to get those together, uh, clear the stuff out that's behind that way, uh, and then... Once I get that straightened out and get some records put on there, I'll uh, I'll kind of open this area up a little bit more, and we can you can see what I really have. Um, I think it's going to uh, fit. My records are weird. I have I have records that are old records, and then I have my new records that that I bought brand new, separated, and they need to be combined. But I didn't want to combine them the way I have it now, and then I also have like it's it's these these shelves but there's like a shelf here a shelf here and then a big space in between the shelf shelf and then at the bottom there's like these drawers that open up and you can i got stuff in there and then on the top of the 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 thing the entertainment center thing there's records up there that are records that were inherited records that i cleaned them all up but it's stuff that i don't really want to listen to you know it's it's probably jazz and country and old stuff that from like the 40s and 50s that i'm not really into um you know not saying that i'll never listen to it but it's not on my main to-do list um so that stuff's probably going to stay up there and if that stays up there i think all of my records will fit on the two shelves that i have have coming because uh i kind of looked online to see what people would say would fit on them they're saying between 65 and 70 per square and I'll have 16 squares you know openings to put records in so I, I think that probably will cover what I have it might be a little tighter than I want it to be but it'll get me what I need to get for now and I can use the the space that the records are in for other things like books and stuff that are just all over this apartment so uh and you know trying to get my life cleaned up so anyway that's it it's been going too long white snake